Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic of discussion is on the differences between paging and segmentation. This is what I have written the heading here, paging versus segmentation. In my previous sessions, I have explained in detail about the paging concept and the segmentation concept. Now let us see the differences here. Here I have written the parameter and on this particular parameter or attribute, let us see whether it exists or does not exist or supported or does not supported by these two concepts, paging and segmentation. The very first parameter what I have decided is memory allocation method. Is it a contiguous memory allocation method or non-contiguous memory allocation method? Paging is a non-contiguous memory, non-contiguous memory allocation method and also what segmentation is also non-contiguous. So this is also non-contiguous memory allocation method. So in the very first chapter of this particular memory management, I have told you the differences, uh, the types of uh, memory allocation methods, contiguous and non-contiguous. In contiguous, you have seen the fixed size partitioning and variable size partitioning. In non-contiguous, these are the two different types. One is the paging and another is the segmentation. Then for the definition part, paging is definitely based on the pages. So a fixed size partition is called as a page, a fixed size partition in the main memory is a page or in the physical memory is called a page whereas for segmentation a variable size partition definitely segments we have seen in the just go through my previous session wherein I have shown you one example where a program consists of various segments and each segment will be of different size so a variable size partition in physical memory is called as a segment. So this is with respect to the second parameter definition. Third is the logical address. Now the logical address is generated by the CPU. So in the concept of paging, the logical address consists of what hope you remember. I used to write in the diagram like this CPU logical address consists of page number and displacement. So here in paging, it is page number and displacement. And in uh, segmentation, it is segment number and displacement. Logical address consists of what? Segment number and displacement. Displacement is what? The offset. Offset is any location in that particular page. So this is the third difference. Fourth one, you can talk with respect to the page table or the segment table. What does page table in paging consist of? Page table consists of the base address of the page. Whereas in segmentation, it consists segment table consists of what? The base address as well as the size of the page. Both the informations are present here. Both this information, base address and size of the page size of the page is given here or you can say the limit. So in my previous uh, example, I have shown you one uh, example on segmentation also in the segment table always what the segment number is the index and the contents of the segment table will be what the segment number uh, sorry the base address from where that segment starts and also the limit that is the size of the segment. So base address and limit of the page or in simpler words you can write down size of the page is also mentioned. Next is how with respect to page size and segment size. Here, what do, what do you mean by page size and segment size? Like what is that you have to talk on the differences is normally page size is fixed. So the user is not at all bothered about how to decide the size of the page. It is decided by the operating system. Page size is decided by the operating system. Whereas what about segment size? See, segment size completely depends on what the different segments of a program. Who is writing the program? The user. So the user decides the size of the segments. The user decides the size of the segment. So the next parameter is about internal fragmentation. What is that you want to say? Talk on internal fragmentation in case of paging. 
hope you people remember the concept once suppose in the physical memory if you want to load pages okay from the secondary memory now suppose if there are four pages of a process a b c d all these four pages are brought into the main memory the last page of that particular process may or may not occupy the complete space in the main memory there can be what there can be some leftover space present in the last page of the process so this space is whatever is the leftover space is what is the internal fragmentation in case of what uh, paging so definitely when you talk about internal fragmentation you can say may exist here may exist in case of paging whereas in segmentation there is no question of internal fragmentation because the complete segment itself is brought into the main memory so here it does not exist fine and external fragmentation in case of uh, paging it does not exist whereas in case of segmentation it may exist because once the modules are of variable size and you are going to place all the modules of a particular uh, modules are what the segments segments of a process at different parts in the main memory later when a second process when the segments of a second process has to get loaded into the main memory you may have sufficient space in the main memory but not in such a, but not in a manner wherein you can place the complete segment of the second process so space is enough but still you are not able to accommodate those segments in the main memory that is external fragmentation so that may exist in the segmentation and when it comes to protection whatever is your page number page in the main memory or whatever is your segment in the main memory the access should be what only to all the locations of the page or all the locations of the segment okay access it should not cross the boundary of that particular page here it should not cross the boundary of the segment particular segment here so in the segment table you can see the limit value or the size of the segment apart from what base address segment table you will find also the limit of that particular segment the size of the segment that's the reason it will not cross the uh, boundary of that segment so this is all about the differences between the paging and uh, segmentation hope you find this session useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care